Hello, boys and girls, my name is Otis here and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. And we're still waiting for the steam vent to go dormant so we can uh, analyze it, do all the necessary work down here while not getting uh, boiled uh, in this water. But uh, our first dust caps seem to be ready for harvesting, which helps with our food supply needs. Um, that's still a bit on the on the critical side. Um, I'm not sure, but I don't think we are yet over over the over the hill over the hump not sure how you how you say that properly in English but you get my drift so we still have to be careful once this farm is going I think uh, we should be on the safe side more research done, but there is one more queued up, and occasionally we run out of, of power, so at this point uh, we do not generate enough power with the, the treadmill, with the hamster wheel, um, to supply all our needs which are not that great we have mainly the, the research over here a few lamps over there and um, the uh, deodorizer over here that's everything that's on this one and then down here we have this pump and the uh, rock crusher So once we have sorted out the, uh, the uh, oxygen production, I can focus on the energy setup, which is the next big project. And the uh, wiring here just uh, was completed. So that's a good thing anyway. Uh, there is no research queued up. That's no good. So let's do these two next. Um, I think, yeah. We have water, we have light, so the uh, bristle blossoms are growing. Slowly, but they are growing. And that will also help with our food shortage. Um, we have the dining room in here, so maybe we can have a grill here. Uh, we will not yet uh, connect that one up to, uh, to the power. Figure out the rest of the base. Something like this. It's quite an oddly shaped base, 
but uh, uh, I think following the the area where we have a good temperature for living um, that's that's the key thing here eventually we will maybe need to uh, think about cooling but uh, at least for the next few hundred cycles we should be good with the uh, cooling system uh, we have down here cooling down the oxygen so it comes in uh, quite cool and that should help a lot and if we can move out some of the uh, appliances that generate heat like uh, the the research which we will not need indefinitely uh, we can also help this along this one that's that's another uh, uh, heat generator but i think having the grill or the, the kitchen next to the to the dining area uh, is helpful Of course, you're still idle. And at least over here, uh, slowly, uh, all the junk gets gets cleaned up, picked up, moved away. So uh, once that is done, we can close up these two doors. and move on okay next research is done uh with the uh Where's the energy set up? Uh, I usually find that if you think too small, you then run into situations where you have issues with your with your space. So. For that reason, let's line up with with this wall, and uh, keep in mind that we can expand here to the to the left side. All right, the door is in. That's the first step, and let's take the copper, or the copper ore, I should say. Um, we can have a look at the skills. Add up. Um, you will go into decorating. And for the others, I think they are maxed out. Yes. Okay, they are coming along nicely, almost uh, 30%. And now we have filled up uh, carbon dioxide on all levels. So once we have planted all 
mushrooms on the lower level, we can plant them one level higher. Constant checking on uh, on the geyser here. Then uh, let's lock this door for now, so if we can plan out the area here on this side at our leisure um, and once we are satisfied with the layout then they can actually uh, start working on it but as mentioned I first want to get this oxy oxygen setup going and these these wards they need um, they need uh, uh, phosphorite to grow and for that we need a farm using uh draglets draglets can also be uh, sheared uh, uh, given of plant fiber that we then can use for paintings and if they uh if we get uh, glossy draglets out of, the, of that um we can shear them and they drop plastic and usually uh, I have a, a farms going with draglets and glossy draglets so that I actually don't need any uh, oil be converted into uh, plastic which is a good thing because uh, the uh, plastic uh, presses generate lots of heat so let's see what we want to do next. Yes, I sent this one. And then we can actually think about the first power generator which will be coal. So if you if you look at the uh, at the uh, different at the different uh, generators then lowest level will probably be the manual one the, the hamster wheel then the uh, wood burner as that one generates um, uh, 300 watt then next is the coal with 600 watt um, the gas comes next with 800 then the hydrogen also with 800 and then the petroleum one with uh, where is it 2000 so that's the the different tiers I will skip over the wood burner because uh, at least on this map we do not have uh, uh, sustainable amount of wood that we could produce so it would make sense to have a wood burner so we go with uh, coal natural gas hydrogen and then on the side we will have petroleum generators uh, which basically will be a backup um, that will spring in uh, to cover our peak needs. And of course for the natural gas generator we need to find a geyser that will produce said gas. Usually there is at least one uh, such geysers on the map uh, and so far I have always found more than one but one geyser can power 
uh, three generators and there is other ways you can generate natural gas and of course the uh, the hydrogen generator for that one we need a hydrogen uh, vent uh, using this setup is not really useful because um, if you look at this this is all an isolated setup so the hydrogen that we get out of this can generate enough power uh, for all these pumps and electrolyzer and this water pump it's it's a bit more but not much more so uh, using electrolyzers to get hydrogen uh, and then uh, use that to power your base that's not really an uh, efficient use so we will hope that we can find a hydrogen uh, geyser um, which has the drawback the hydrogen is incredibly hot so we have to take measures there to cool the hydrogen down before we can uh, uh, pump it into our machines uh, otherwise they will uh, overheat constantly um, and uh, need constant repair um, let's deconstruct this one and put it down a bit lower right on this level and let's check up on all these new stuff that we have uh, researched and here I missed one here I missed one right So, we will have coal generators. Let's have a gap of three here in the middle. Um, we will have an auto sweeper there. We will have a floor here, um, then two more generators up here, and box here. Then we can have a ladder up this side and a ladder up this side floor here um, let's also put in a door on this side so we can go up and down uh, then mine up uh, these blocks here and put a roof over the whole shebang. Dig it out. And that's the layout for the for the first 
the first part. Alright, what do we have here? Um, Pufflet eggs. At this point, not that useful. So let's take the seed. Alright, at least uh, here we have cleaned everything up. So let's lock the doors and call this episode done. So I hope you enjoyed it, as always, and hope to see you soon with the next episode coming soon. Until then, goodbye!